Hello, and welcome back to what I'm going to call part 16.1 of a series where I'm building a protogen head. Last time we made a template for cutting out the latex. Uh, today I have the latex here cut and scuffed, and really all I need to do now is a final wash, and then I can start gluing it. Uh, very, very close to get, getting stuff done here. I'm definitely making good progress on this. Uh, so the, the what you can see here is all of the pieces cut out. I'm doing this handheld cam, so you know quality is going to low production quality. But you know we've got the um, the latex here cut out. Um, I should have done this before I started recording. Uh, so what do we have here? This is the centerpiece that's going on the top. These are, this is the side piece, and then this is the bottom collar-ish piece. And what I have here is the zipper that is longer than it's going to need to be, almost certainly. And then little zipper guard type thing sandwiches to put on the other side. The zipper is going underneath this piece, but it's laying on top here. And then these are going to go on the other side to like sandwich it in to hopefully um, get it to not fall out. And like this looks a little weird all laid out flat, but... You know, these part, this part's going to curve down and attach to here and here. Uh, but yeah, the, the next thing to do is take this upstairs and give it a good final wash and hang dry. And then I will start uh, gluing stuff together. I think I'm going to start with the zipper and the zipper sandwich. I don't know what to call it. Um, just because that's kind of important for uh, stress because the zipper is going to, you know, have a lot of... of stress on it so I want to do it when I can do it flat and then the rest of the stuff I might also go and attach these two pieces together and then these two pieces together and then br bring everything onto this and then that's the very last thing that hopefully everything works out this and that should get connected as well but yeah what I've done is uh let me just flip one of these over so you can kind of see is I, I traced the template onto the non shiny side. Uh, I cut a little bit bigger to have more glue room, like especially because, you know, there's going to be a seam that goes over uh, this piece. I don't think has any over seams on it, but I'm still leaving a little bit of excess in there. I can always cut more off if I need to. And just having bigger overlap means a stronger seam, except right up here, this is going to the flush against the top of the frame. So I, I cut to the line here, same kind of thing on this edge and this edge, because those are going flush against the top of the frame here. So I didn't want to cut those over too much. Uh, this is approximately where it's going to be glued onto the frame itself. Uh, so I kind of marked that. And then what I did was I took some sandpaper um, not particularly fine, kind of coarse. Uh, this doesn't say what, what it is on it. But I, I took that and then I scuffed in both directions here and then around all of the like under seam edges here on some of these pieces just to make the adhesive have a little bit better chance of adhering. And then I also did on the shiny side a very, very light scuff around the edges of the things that are going to be on the underside of the adhesive on the shiny side. Um, well, yeah, now that the plan is take this upstairs, toss it in with my latex cleaner, and uh, just, uh, you know, give that a good clean, hang it to dry. I will, when I'm getting ready to actually glue these, go over with some isopropyl alcohol spray and just get a final clean off that will also help remove any of the um, Sharpie that shouldn't be there anymore. And uh, yeah, gonna start going maybe tonight if it dries. I, it would be awesome to get the zipper glued in tonight. But if not, I need to, to get started on the gluing to, excuse me, hiccups. If I don't, if this doesn't dry in time tonight, then I need to do it tomorrow. Uh, I want to get the majority of this gluing done. Well, I'm going to need to do this on multiple days. My, my, my thoughts are I can do the zipper to this piece in one day. 
Uh, I can do these two together on the same day and these two together on the same day. And then I want to probably let them dry overnight or at least for several hours. Like maybe, maybe after several hours I can do this onto the other side of the zipper. But then the next day is when I want to start assembling stuff. So ideally I can do the zipper to the middle piece tonight and then the zipper sandwiches and the other two things tomorrow. And then mo Monday, maybe start putting these things together. Uh, I'm probably, I, I might need to do like a trim piece along the top of, um, so you're in this, the kitchen again. I might need to put a trim piece like over the, over everything along here to, um, you know, just cover the seams there. Well, I, I need to figure out how to do trim. I need to figure out if there's any accents I want to do here on this. And I still need to figure out ears, which I'm probably just going to do like flat ears where I take a piece of latex, uh, two pieces of latex back to back, shiny sides out, uh, on the inside, probably use some red latex for a red inner ear, like my cat character, and then glue those onto the, the top of the head. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that I can get this done in plenty of time for BLFC. It's just, am I going to run into any roadblocks? I still have enough of the black latex to make this entire thing again, or darn near close to it. But I'm pretty sure I have enough to make every single piece here at least one more time. So if I screw something up, I still have plenty of spare there. I have a lot of red latex to use for the highlights and stuff. So, yeah, cautiously optimistic. But for now, I'm going to go wash this stuff. Okay, addendum that's two days later from the previous recording. Uh, since then, I have just now finished gluing all of the pieces, parts together. Uh, you can see it here temporarily attached to the frame with some sticky tack for testing size spinning, etc. Um, came out pretty well. The right side definitely went on better than the left side. Uh, this is just, you know, extra crease here and this just was not lined up well. This is definitely much more appropriately uh, lined on that side than this side. You can tell here at the bottom that um, the right side goes down lower than the left side. So I'm going to have to cut that at an angle on the right side to get it to line up. And I knew that the middle part was going to be longer than needed. I was expecting to have to cut that to length, but it is mostly done. The only th major thing left to do is to connect the two sides in the front to like make a neck hole collar thing. Uh, but I'm going to do that tomorrow because I don't want to put any stress on this glue until it is set for at least 24 hours. Uh, and I might need to add like extra panels here to like cover the front of the neck. And I don't know if I need to do a zipper guard because there's the foam there. I might need to go back and put a, a zipper guard on the actual zipper. Um, like, uh, can I put this down in a way that won't fall? Yeah, so like there's not a... There's no piece of anything underneath the zipper here to like keep hair from getting caught in it. But I don't think that's going to matter because I'm almost always going to be wearing a ball of clava with this and there's this foam in the way and I'll remove these safety pins um, once I'm done. Just needed those to hold the foam in the appropriate shape. But I think this is basically done. Tomorrow I'm going to do more. Uh, I'll try to do the collar. Um, after that is done, I'm going to give this whole thing another good bath because you can see there's all sorts of paper towel, towel residue on here from when I was gluing it. Um, obviously need to cut down this bottom stuff to length, re-terminate the zippers. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any trim. I do need to figure out the ears at some point. Uh, I'm not going to have time before the convention to add like hair, like strands of hair. That is definitely something I want to do at some point that will help cover these imperfections at the seams. But yeah, it's getting close to done. I still have to deal with the strap that goes around the back of my head to hold it in securely. Uh, I have everything I need for that. I just need to actually do it. Uh, I actually have the 
supplies right here. Here's the strap itself on the adapters that I've made that I've used previously. I go like that, I believe. Um, what I also did was I got some buckle latches like this. Even though this is elastic, I don't want, I don't know if that's going to work very well um, under the latex. So I just got those just in case I can, you know, cut this and put that in there. I'll probably use it as is for a test fit once I've gotten some time to actually do so. Um, I also need to like cut the those like ear thing. There are the circles out, the semicircles out from the latex, so it'll actually lay flat here because like that's supposed to go all the way up into that crevice, which it can't right now. So I need to do a little bit of trim work there before I permanently attach it. But if if it will work without a, a latch, like I can just pull it out and around my head, then all I have to do is like. permanently attach this end and like double this back a few times so it can't slide out from here. Post-production Elb here. The microphone must have gotten not loose in the camera socket because the audio for the rest of the recording got incredibly crackly and is unintelligible. I don't remember exactly what I was saying for any of this so I'm just going to go over the bullet points using the footage as b-roll. Basically I just need to figure out what I want to do with that strap. Other than that, the major things that still need done are connecting the collar pieces in the front to make an actual neck, which I'm planning on doing on Tuesday the 17th, give the covering a final wash on Wednesday, and then permanently attach the covering to the frame on Friday. Then I'm not really sure what the timeline for the rest of this is going to be, but I still need to truncate that tail portion of the center to match up with the sides, which themselves might need to be shortened to be closer to the length of the foam, uh, figure out the strap, uh, figure out the ears, reinstall the electronics, including figuring out where to put the capacitive touch toggle button, adjust the graphics to not get clipped by the back portion of the frame, and maybe, if there's time, install a fan. Regardless, this all basically has to be done by Tuesday the 24th, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Of course, there are still other things that I want to do that are not critical to get done before I can take this to the conventions, like adding some hair, trying to get the boop sensor working, figuring out how the eye tracking camera works and find a spot inside the head for that. And then other features to just add to the software like add, uh, like idle animations and using the accelerometer for idle detection and power saving. So there's still plenty to do in this series. It's just finally getting to the point where I can start wearing it. Uh, anyway, I think that about covers it all. Hopefully I'll be able to get another short update or two out before BLFC. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to see future updates. And until next time, thanks for watching.